Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to you all with another video. I'm going to start off by reading from my prayer book, Walk in Faith. I'm going to read a Bible verse and then I'm going to read a prayer. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox in hatred therewith. This is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 17. Here's the prayer. When love knocks, it takes a powerful faith to open the door and welcome it in. I trust that God sends me the right people to help me, care for me, and love me. And that those who present difficulties and challenges are there to teach me great lessons. I let love in, and if I can't enjoy it, I learn from it. Okay, I'm going to read an article from TMZ. Okay, let me load it up. It's called Cardi B lashes out at Offset after he says she cheated. Cardi B is publicly ripping Offset a new one after the Migos rapper announced to the world Cardi's allegedly cheating in the past or uh, cheated in the past. If you missed the post and delete from Offset Monday, he wrote, My wife, F A N or F the nigga on me, gang you all in or niggas know how I come. Clearly peeved by his post, Cardi lashed out on Twitter spaces only hours later denying the claims and saying even if she wanted to cheat on Offset, it's next to impossible because she's just too famous. She even went as far as to say she had smacked Offset upside the head with a bottle if he made the claims to her face. Cardi referred to Offset as the countryman to her followers and even allured to him suffering some sort of downward spiral. What's not clear is where Cardi and Offset's marriage cur currently stands, but things don't seem great. Cardi was conspicuously upset are absent from Offset's side at the BET Awards Sunday night, or well, last night, which was Sunday night, because I'm reading this. This article was from a few days ago, so I'm just reading it now, which was an emotional gut wrencher after he publicly reconciled with Quavo to pay tribute to their late bandmate, Takeoff. Cardi also stayed home for Offset's Big Paris Fashion Week. As for fans, they're largely on Cardi's side. Offset's infidelities have their own storyline. At this point, and many people think the only thing he deserves is a tiny violin. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the article. But okay. Yep, that's the end of the article. And this article has a video and some pictures of Cardi being offset. So I will put be putting a link to this article in, a, in my description box below. So if you all want to hear the video of Cardi on her um, Twitter spaces, and if you want to hear or if you want to see pictures of her and offset and a picture of um, offset and Quavo, then all you have to do is click the link and it'll take you right to the website and to and to the article so y'all can check the picture the pictures and the video out but okay i'm gonna start off first by saying you know talk about cardi the more plastic surgery she gets the worse she looks seriously i think you need to stop while you ahead you know with this plastic surgery because you're not with she, what she and um, other women need to understand that you're, when you get plastic surgery, 
you're not going to age well. You're not going to age with grace. So, like I said, just think about that. You know, and that's something you got to live with for the rest of your life, of course. But, yeah, another thing, if she don't stop getting plastic surgery, then she going to be just like Lil' Kim. And another thing, her looks going to go down. Her sales going to go down. Her sound going to go down. And her fan base going to go down. Because people are not going to continue to support a plastic version of you. So chill out on the plastic surgery while you can. Stop wasting your time and money on it because you're not going to look no better. You're only going to get worse. So, and as far as uh, Cardi being offset, they giving, they giving people something to talk about. You know, by putting their marriage, or they marriage out there on Front Street, you know, getting on the internet, talking about their marriage and about their biz, their personal business. You know, you two need to figure out what's going on in your marriage. And you two need to um, figure out how you're going to keep your marriage and your problems off the internet. Keep it to yourselves. Because people wouldn't know your business if you wouldn't show them or if you wouldn't tell them. Let me say that again. People would not know your business if you wouldn't show and tell them. Period. If the only thing that you should be promoting or getting online to talk about Cardi is about your music and, or just talk about positive stuff in it that's going on in your life. So people won't have nothing to judge you on. But if they do judge you for the positive things that you share, then that shows how much of a hater they are, of a stand they really are. Because if you're doing something right, then people going to hate on you. But you'd rather have that kind of criticism than have people judging you and talking about your marriage and your issues. And as far as you know, offset go cheating goes, or offset goes, he just like a cheater, a cheater pumpkin eater. You know, he accusing Cardi of doing of doing things that he been doing. That's just like a ho ho, a certified ho ho narcissist. That's just what he is. He been cheating from the beginning. You know, of their marriage, and if Cardi say if she was cheating or or if she did cheat on him, then I wouldn't blame her. Because Offset, you did it first. You started cheating on her first. So guess what? You can't get mad if she doing it too. Because you gave her a reason to do it. And I know two wrongs don't make a right. But if you cheat on somebody, then, then and if they still stick beside you and be with you afterwards, and say for some reason they cheat, then you should give them that same courtesy. Give them that same respect. Or if you can't take it, then leave. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad. Just, just get, leave. Get out of the relationship. So like I said, but overall, he started it first. And, uh, and so as far as we, as we know, the only, the only slut bucket cheater of the relationship is you all said. You're the slut bucket cheater of the marriage and a one and a question that i have for cardi is when you gonna come out with your second album it's been about it's been five years since you came out with that first album you know invasion of privacy so i just want to know when are you gonna come out with that second album my one wish for you cardi is to get it is to stop talking about your personal life are the negative aspects of your personal life in your marriage. Stop getting online talking about that stuff because people, like I said, gonna gonna criticize you and they're going to judge you for it because you still stand with him. So keep that business off the internet. Instead, I want you to go in that studio and work on a second album. Work on that album. That's what I want you to do. Give people something to live to talk about and to not only listen to but to look forward to okay that's what you need to do 
But um, anyway, I hope you all like this video. Please like this video because it helps my channel. But anyway, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.